Hello everyone, this is Omar. Welcome to the channel. Uh, this is the continuation of our RHCSA uh, practice exam series. So in this one, we, are, we will be solving question number 11, which is related to configuring NTP time synchronization. So uh, before, before I begin this solving this question, let me remind you that we have created a lab so you will know the importance of the way you create your lab so in the beginning in the first video of the series if you have seen we have created a lab but most of the actions most of the questions we solved on node 01 and node 02 so on that uh, lab server server 01 we configured the repository server so that repository server helped us uh, in installing packages and other things, other related tasks uh, on Node 01 so far. So uh, the second important thing which I reminded you while creating the lab is we will be using it for NTP server as well. All right. So this is why it is important to set up a separate server for your repository, your NTP or your NFS. So even for NFS, we will need that server. So we will be configuring NFS on that server as well. But in this question, we will be solve, we will be creating NTP server on server 01. And then we will be configuring node 01 as a client to synchronize time from, no, from server 01. So let's, uh, the question is very straightforward. Configure your, uh, your system so that it is, it is an NTP client of server 01 so in the exam the server name can be anything so maybe you will be given the the, the server name the complete uh, fqdn so the ntp server it will be expected that ntp server is already configured you just have to do the client configuration so in the exam you may be asked only to do the client configuration right but because we have uh, we have a separate lab for us and we don't have ntp server so we want to create we want to simulate that environment so for that we have to create the ntp server configuration so in this video i'll show you both uh, we will go through the ntp server configuration and then we'll go through the ntp client configuration all right so let's go ahead and do that so the question is configure uh, as we have already read and then we will be setting the time zone configuration and then we will be syncing the time. So <clears throat> let's begin configuring the NTP server first. So for that, we have to log in to our server. So this is my server, as you remember. Hostname, this is server01 rscsa9.moimer.io. So this is our server01. Now on this one, we will be configuring the NTP server. But before we begin, we will perform a quick check whether it is configured already or not. So we will check the time zone, time CTL command. It is there, NTP server is inactive. There is no synchronization happening. And this is the local time. This is our time zone. And universal time is also shown out here. So NTP is not configured on this server. Right. So if in your system, if it is not, your VM is not synchronized with your hardware, so you can use this command. In my case, it's already synchronized, but I will run it anyway. So it will show me the time correctly. Okay. So this check has been done. NTP is not configured on our server. So first things first, if you have to install this package, if it is not already installed, I think by default it is installed for us. Yes, it is installed. So crony is the package that you need to install. In our case, it's already installed. If it is not installed, then the repository server comes into picture. Always remember, if you don't have the repository server, you will face problems. Do not configure in your lab. Do not configure your repository server directly with subscription manager. Uh, it may not actually simulate the actual lab environment. So uh, this is what we did. If you, it was, it is not there, you have to install it. Uh, the second thing is, if it's already installed, what we have to do is we have to 
make the changes in crony configuration file so in this case this is this is the file this is the configuration file slash etc crony.com so let me clear this out and i'm using this as my user my user already uh, have the sudo access i can show you if i do sudo minus i i can become root so i already have the sudo access so i'm using my user on the server not rhcsm9 so we will be editing this file slash etc crony.com right so it has already many uh, configuration so what what we are interested in if you see on the screen this allow client access from your local network so you have to allow your local network so whatever your subnet is you have to allow your local subnet in my case i am using the lo my local subnet is 10 10 10 if you are using 192 168 dot something dot something let's make sure whatever your local ip address is make sure your local subnet is allowed out here so it will allow this ntp server when we configure it will allow the connections from uh, from those machines uh, having the same subnet right so we have already allowed that then we have to configure the firewall as well so that your client machine will be able to communicate so as always we have to reload the service see you do sorry minus minus reload minus minus reload let me correct it out here as well okay so we have done the configuration so let's restart but before we restart let's check whether the crony service is up and running or not it should not be up should be yeah it's inactive it's disabled so crony service the package was there we just made the configuration changes but we have to start the service so in this case you can just use restart or you can start the service we can use we are using minus minus now so this will start the service there is a Spelling mistake system CTL. Let me correct that. So instead of this one, what we will do? Enable minus minus one. Let me correct it. System CTL. So it will enable the service and minus minus now flag will start the crony service. So it's enabled. Let's check. System CTL status crony crony T serve. So the service is active and it is enabled. So crony is enabled. Our time synchronization service is enabled. So server configuration is done. So if we check time CTL, it says yes, it is active and it is syncing the time as well. All right, so this is configured. The server configuration is done. So now we will come back to the client. So in the exam, this 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 is you don't have to worry about this in the exam. But as a sysadmin, you should know how to configure the NTP server. So this is the configuration of NTP server. Very simple, and straightforward. Now in the exam, you don't have to do this. The, the NTP server will, will always already be there, most probably. So we will come back to the client configuration. So let's come back to the client and install uh, crony. It should already be there. Yeah, it's it's already there installed. So if it is not there, you have to install the package. Then we will do the same configuration. We will edit the same configuration file etc because this is the configuration file for your crony which is NTP. Now in this one we'll make we'll make a different change. We will ask our crony to instead of going to the internet and 
syncing the file, syncing the time from there, we will say server, which is our server name, or you can use the IP address as well and I first. So make sure just memorize this uh, this line for you. So you have to use the IP address or the host name, FQDN or host name of your server. So we have done that. So let's this way we will start the crony out here. But before we do that, I don't think so. It is up and running. So system CTL status crony T. It's not active and it is disabled. So what we will do is sudo system CTL enable minus minus not line crony T. So it's enabled and active. Let's check the status. It is active and it is enabled. And so you can use these two commands as well. I, I combine this command into one and then I execute it. Now this one should all actually up until this step, it should already synchronize. Our crony should synchronize With our NTP server. So, as you can see, it is synchronized and it is active. How can we check that? This is the command we can use to see. You see, this is, you should see this star. This star means it is synchronizing the time with this server. So, this is our server and our NTP is being synchronized with this one. So uh, the question also asks you to set the time zone as well. So we already have our time zone is already set. So whatever is your time zone, just make sure that you set the time zone correctly. So in my case, the time zone was already set. But in your case, just select the time zone. Just say, uh, You can use uh, time date CTL get time zone to get your time zone. Select that one and then set this one. I will just show you quickly. And date CTL get time zone. Where is it? Sorry, it lists time zones. So it will list you. So you can grab for your own uh, time zone setting. Uh, so remember this one, it is list time zone, not get time zone. So in my case, the time zone setting was already there, but I updated in any case, this was the command to set the time zone. All right. So this question is completed. How simple was that? So let's check again on our client. It is synchronizing. See. It is using this server as a server and it is synchronizing this fancy stuff you can see. Our time one is being synchronized on the client. So that's it for this one. This command, uh, this, this uh, will show you the time zone synchronization correct or not. All right, that's it for now. Uh, this is the reference document. As always, I paste the reference document uh, at the end of the description. So uh, just go through this one. If you don't understand anything, just go through this one. And if you want to know more, just Google about the NTP server, NTP client. It's very straightforward. Uh, so I hope you like the video. Thank you for watching and have a good day.